<laughs> over that I haven't had e so what what I what I find interesting is what you are saying Unosan is you should wake him up <laughs> is that you need a lot of mathematical knowledge in order in, in a, uh, to be able to uh, analyze machine learning mm -hmm. but when I see this video I think actually that machine learning is based on feeding data into a system recognizing patterns and letting those pa recognize what patterns what pattern? patterns I understand what pattern Layers with me? Yeah, no, for example, um, the, the, the cricket example, we see bowlers and uh, batters. Um, we, uh, we see patterns in somebody who uh, listens to music and seems to have a tendency to like certain kinds of music and not like other kinds of music. Mm -hmm. That is being able uh, to... Um, find patterns and then mapping that to a, um, f for example, to propose new music that you can buy uh, in your iTunes store. But that is basically not designed through mathematics. That's the data that you feed into the system that will help you to propose. So it's, in my view, it's not mathematics that decides what we are recommending to person X who has been liking and disliking music, um, but it is actually the software itself that uh, itself that um, deducts this from the pattern of the individual and the pattern of um, all the individuals out there that will determine what the outcome of the recommendation is. How are we going to measure the weight for the recommendation? The weights are based on the data, not by humans, are not set by humans, they are based no, on how data. How are we going to calculate weights? No, we are not calculating weights. We weights are being assigned based on the data that is fed into the system. We are not setting weights. It's not like an old system where we are an old school system like ERP, for example, where we're no, setting no, weights. The question is, how are we going to uh, define weights? No. That's what I'm saying. We are not uh, defining weights. No, 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 not we. How is the system going to define the weights? They are going to look at the outcome. Like, for example, if we are going to uh, make a forecast, if, okay, let's say that you sell, um, you sell purses. Purses, right? Okay. Basically, we can make assumptions about, okay, this purse is this price. So it's probably, um, if we want to find the right group, we probably uh, need to look at the, f the following factors it's a woman or it's a man it's the age range of uh, between uh, 20 and 40 or 40 and 60 uh, or 60 and older uh, it's uh, she has an income of less than uh, 4 million or more than 4 million we, ca we can and then we can assign weights that is no, assigning no, no, weights. No, assign weights is man and woman versus income versus the other factors. So those factors, how are you going to weight each other? So what we are doing is we're looking at, no, 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 no. So what we are doing, I can explain this to you. What we are doing, we're looking at the sales data, we're looking at the pe at who bought this, and then we're going to actually just uh, analyze and say, okay, actually there is a correlation between this purse and uh, the, the gender, which is actually turns out to be 90% of the people who buy it are women. That that's just based on the st statistics. Mm -hmm. Then, sixty sixty percent of the people had an income that is uh, 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 more than uh, six million yen. Mm -hmm. um, so based on that, we are actually going to make recommendations. Uh, the next person that who comes in, or we're going to uh, buy advertisement on Facebook, based on the actual data. Nobody puts the weights on uh, whether or not we divide, is it's the data. In, is that in, not influence? How is it going to consider for advertisement factors? Well, basically, we let the data speak. We are not We are not going to set uh, uh, the weights ourselves. No, no, my question, no. Data speaks, okay. How is it going to get data? What kind of data speaks? Oh, so basically, we... Okay, gender, 
Yes. Uh, advertisement, how are you going to data, we're we going to recognize each other. That is machine learning. No, no, this is my question. Machine okay. learning. What is machine, how do they are learning? They're learning from the data that's been fed into the, into the, um, in, into the... In this is my question. How so the machines run? So, okay, so basically we have all the sales records, right? We have mm. all the sales records. Then we let the machine look at the sales record and look at the outcome. Okay, so, so based on our sales data, uh, we let the machine analyze the sales data. This is a question. How to analyze it? Okay, so we feed it. Okay, this person... They okay, bought it. Woman, this woman, this woman see what yeah. advertisement and she decide uh, how much money she's going yes. to spend, which shop she's going to buy. Yes, and she bought okay. it, right? And so she, you compare it with other purses that you sold. So basically, you look at all the sales data that you have in your shop, and this woman buys this uh, purse, and this woman buys that purse. And then, then we are going to look at patterns. So, okay we find that uh, this person uh, that uh, reality have these kinds of, of uh, characteristics. If we know that, then we can forecast if somebody comes into the shop, we know that, that into, my in, into our e-commerce e shop. My question is why machine, how are you going to uh, make a judgment for the source of the parameters? Based on the, the data? Different. No, no. Data, how is it going to analyze? So, okay, person comes in, they have a Facebook profile, you know what they have been clicking on, they know, you know exactly what they are, so you know something about this person. You know something about their income, what they like, etc. Now you're going to match that with your sales data. You know what kind of people have been buying this product and what kind of people have been buying that product. So based on that, on your homepage, when you come into that shop, the software is going to recommend or make, a, make an advertisement on your homepage that fits the profile of people that have been buying that kind of product. So it doesn't make sense to, bu to, buy, to give a razor advertisement to a woman in her early 20s because she doesn't buy razors. But if it's a guy who is in his 50s, who likes to, uh, and you found that basically this is something that this oh, kind okay. of... Okay, the other way I try to ask a question for you. The result coming out, mm -hmm. then uh, the president, owner, shop owner, okay, I need to decide more advertisement, or I need to more focus on this, I need to focus on this shop, how they want he's going to make judgment for this out output. Okay, just uh, the other way I say, mm -hmm. This is machine learning is my my feeling is different. It's the best best you know best. Uh, my guess is I think uh, machine output in this machine my machine output. I think I need to put on more advertisement mm -hmm. rather than focus on this shop rather than focus on thirty two months of course. I need to put on advertisement double up. Then I can increase my double up sales. This is my guess, but machine learning output. He doesn't say, say that way. Machine learning can only base its recommendations on previous behavior. So if you're going to change your behavior, if you're going to uh, try something that you don't have data on, it may be difficult for a machine to forecast. But you may have data on previous uh, campaigns that you did. Machine and the impact that it had on My sales. simple question. Machine, are they going to make judgment by himself? Yes, maybe, because the, the machine is going to make a recommendation to you. Yeah, this is my question. How yeah. he is going to judge it? Based on past data, not on, on parameters. No, 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 no. For data, how he is going to make a judgment for data? Judgment for data? Yeah, it's data, lots of data, right? Big yes. data. Yeah. How he is going to make a judgment for those big data? <coughs> how he is going to make judgment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Data to come in. Okay, yes. so, oh, for like a stocks. Like a real estate, there yes. are 30 parameters. Yep. Okay, he's going to prepare 30 parameters in the input. Right. Okay, just do it, big data. And he's going to make judgment, right? How is he going to make judgment? So, so basically, how a machine learns, that what you want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, basically, what a machine learns. So, yeah. for that example, fa a famous example is uh, handwriting or, or uh, image recognition. So handwriting is very difficult to analyze. So what you're talking about the end miss, right? Sorry. Handwriting end miss system, right? Yes, I know that. Yes. So, so basically, you're going to put put in 
uh, some something handwriting and the machine is just going to guess right because they don't know anything about handwriting in the beginning but when a this is a question how he's going to ha make judgment that zero is zero so you know the system so it, yeah it, I know very so, well. okay so basically <laughs> you so basically so okay yeah, you're let me see six thousand six thousand handwriting example they have yeah. zero is many times many kinds uh, looks like triangle looks a square but yeah. this is zero and we, we have prepared sixty thousand zero mm -hmm. one two three until nine mm -hmm. so machine is studying one thousand times they done on time he's studying then final repeating when one thousand then machine study then okay you're going to put in the you are writing down zero oh. he's he'll go and judge it. Oh. my question is okay this is zero how he is going to make a judgment uh, at the beginning right. yeah right. yeah so, so basically what you do you have handwriting uh, that is a zero but, but the machine doesn't know that then you Basically, you put them in a table. You have on the left side, you have this handwritten zero. Then on the right, <laughs> in the right column, you put in this value means zero. <coughs> if you have a handwritten one, you put this value is one. And but you have all <coughs> kinds of handwritings. Now, what the si what the machine is doing the first time around, they got they need to guess. Okay, what is this? A zero, a one, a two, a three, <coughs> a four, a five, six, seven, eight, or nine. The machine doesn't know this, so they will just say, "Okay, right or wrong." So uh, they will just guess. So they they see a handwritten one, but it, the machine doesn't know anything, right? Um, so then it will guess eight wrong, and it will just <coughs> go to the next value, and then uh, it, next value? Next, so it, it's wrong. Then it it goes through thousands and thousands of handwritten uh, numbers. Mm. Wait a minute. Okay, they're open. They he's just okay. Just. I just put in zero. Yeah. And the machine will answer that this is the wrong number. Yeah. How are we going to do that, machine? Sometimes it's right, and then I say, hey, wait, and then it's looking at uh, which wrong one is. Wrong case, how he's going to do it? No. No, <laughs> Unusan, it's basically, it's, you, he, it's going to say, okay, this is right, this is wrong. Then it's going to look, okay, this is right, this is wrong. So where wh was I right? What are, are the common denominators? Then it's going to try again. And based on its right and wrong, it's going to we recognize okay, an eight looks like this or looks like this, and the machine will learn actually to identify based on all the pixels that are in the in in the image to recognize okay if if it has like this, it's probably an eight, a nine. Uh, if it has a zero, of, if it is the circle, minute, who are you going to judge? It? The machine. So no, okay, no, well, no, no because machine. of course the machine because but we already put the that the value is eight behind it. No machine, just the sa first time, okay? This 6,000 character put in the, 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 the left, left column, line. we have eight, and then we give the, we, we give in the right answer. That's what we put in. No, uh, this is a, this is not the system. System is just 60,000, they put in data, okay? Hmm. And the first, first round, answer is 100% wrong. Yes. And then what, what we're going to do is human, human being, we're going to adjust weight parameter, then try again. Oh, okay. Wrong. Yeah, yeah. Wrong. This is not right. No, no, no. I know that. Okay. Let we look at the video next week, but what you're saying is wrong. <coughs> no, machine cannot make an answer. It can. But no, no. It because can't. it recognizes the patterns itself. We are not going to set the parameters. This is wrong. How are they going to find out zero is zero? Because we are going to put, we, we put, okay, let's say 20,000 handwritten numbers. And we could, we, we're we going to put the actual value behind it. And we just let the system guess and see whether it's right, the guess is right or wrong. Then we're going to try it again. But, but the machine has retained some information about the guesses that were right and the guesses that were wrong. Then the machine will identify, hey, of everything that was right, uh, for every guess that I made right about the one, I recognize there was only um, one line in there, for example, one vertical line. Okay, so the next time when I see a zero, there is no vertical line in there. So I will never guess one again. So he will improve his guessing based on the, on the feedback that he got from his first attempt. How then how he will how try he again. How he can improve? 
by learning from his f uh, f uh, uh, previous mistakes. And oh, no, this is uh, what I don't understand. Looks like you're talking about uh, human being. No, this is artificial intelligence. This is intelligence. No, artificial intelligence, no, no kind of advanced thinking the machine has. It has? No, this is more logical. You are talking about kind of, you know, magic hand, right? Mm. It's not a magic hand. I think actually it takes too long to watch the video right now, but next week we definitely need to uh, look at the video you that explains. You can show the core portion. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> core portion, just five minutes. No, 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 How it's not a core portion. You need to take the steps. You cannot just I, look I, at the I know that, I know that, but mm. you are talking about like a machine learning, they are manipulating somewhat like a mysterious way. No, no it's not a mysterious way. It's why? not mysterious at all. Okay, I tell you, why computer make judgment by himself? It's impossible. Of course it makes... No, no. Okay, Deep but... Learning, how like okay, that. so then explain to me why is Google capable of identifying whether an image is a dog, yes or no? They calculate by themselves. And how do they do based that? Based upon human being, just they give them inspection. Yes, okay. But ultimately, every dog is unique, like every person is unique. So the system has never seen your dog because it's oh, the okay. first time dog that dog... Case is Human being gives them information. This is dog. Of course, but it's the same principle, right? Whether it's a dog or it's a zero no, or a one. Give them this is zero. The information, the right answer has been given, right? No, no, give them this is zero. Many Usa, cases. Ultimately, ultimately, it doesn't make any difference whether it's a zero or a one or a dog. The point is that the system, you can train the system to recognize certain patterns and identify it as a dog or a one or an eight or whatever. That is based on feedback that you give to the system. Now, if it's a zero or a one, you just give the right answer. It's a zero or no, a one. No, every time human being gives them suggestion, this is zero. Not, no, why would you do that? That's stupid if you would do no, that. No, no. Because is, it doesn't this change. Is, no, this is so-called weight. Okay? This no. Your weight is something... It's more. really... If your, your suggestion is really not very smart. If I... If I no, I, my simple question. How are you going to figure out uh, this is zero? How he's going to figure this is dog? By repeating uh, your guess and then learning from your mistakes. No, no, how the he system is going learns to from mistakes? This thing is dog or cat. Human By being gi give you okay, so that tradition, right? The the dog and the cat. Um, so basically, what you can what you can do is you can put millions and millions of, of images of dogs and cats into the system, and, human beings and then you let the that? system. Uh, then the human being writes behind it dog or this is a dog or this is a cat, right? Yeah. Right, so every time in the beginning the machine doesn't know anything. Doesn't know anything. So he just has 100,000 images of dogs or cats. So that's that's just... But the answer is given. So we put 100,000 times dog or cat. We put them in, in two columns. Just one column has the image. This, the, the second column has whether it's a dog or a cat. So the system looks at the image and guesses cat. <coughs> Wrong. It's a dog. Okay. You mean a human being? No. <laughs> you don't. You only do that once and let the system do the same no. data. Of course. No. System automatically. Automatically. Just, just, that's how do you think uh, oh, okay, I tell AI you. learns how oh, to play chess? Oh, okay, I tell you. How is going to machine recognize dog or horse? Sorry? Dog or horse? Horse. Because actually, by putting images of horses in there, the, the, the machine, by making trial and error... Well, human being give him this is a horse. Right? Yes, of course. That's the beginning. But you're not going to do that over what and you over mean again. Beginning means... Uh, how do you mean beginning? Ultimately, okay, so you c you can do it, as, as you say, but it, I, I would okay, say that's I a very unintelligent you, way of doing machine. it. Okay, this is a horse at the beginning. Then going through the 5,000 data, hmm. and the answer is, oh, this is different, this is not horse. Right. This is dog. Then but he's going to another suggestion. Yeah, so he's basically, you're going to... Huh? You, he is a master. Machine. So basically, so after fi finishing 5,000, you just put the same, you say, okay, then start again at the beginning and try again. And try again, and try again, and try again. No, human being suggests him. <laughs> no. 
So every, every no. time, right? Uh, not not every time. At the beginning, so no, this, no, several times. Several times, okay, but five, not five times. But Edison time. said automatically the yes. yeah, thing. Yes, uh, 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 why? Why would he call artificial intelligence? Why? That's just human intelligence. Listen, 